Eating nutrient-dense foods is the first step toward a healthy nutrition. Foods high in healthy fats often take the spotlight when it comes to nutrition, and rightfully so. Whether you like to enjoy a fatty salmon fillet with some veggies on the side, or you want to indulge in a creamy and delicious avocado-powered breakfast, it's on you. One thing's for sure, these foods pack a super nutrient which is one of the most beneficial ones for brain health, energy and longevity. Meet today's superhero, omega-3 fatty acids. You've probably heard a thousand times that omega-3s are good for you, but what for? See, omega-3 or fish oil mainly benefits the heart as it lowers blood pressure, but it can also improve brain function as it makes up the structural integrity of your brain. More so, it can have potent anti-inflammatory effects and exert antioxidant-like effects, which are all good for you. There are three main types of omega-3s and these are ALA, EPA and DHA. The last two are known to exert the most potent benefit and the majority of the benefit for humans. Omega-3s are mostly contained in different fatty fish like salmon, sardines and mackerel and just seafood in general and things like cod liver oil, avocados, walnuts and stuff like this. They are synthesized by little microalgae living deep down in the ocean and they're these phytoplanktons, the creatures that eat this microalgae which is rich in omega-3 and then fish eat the phytoplanktons, hence why fish is so rich in omega-3, if you wondered why. Today we'll check out the top 3 main benefits of omega-3s. Let's dive in. The foods richest in omega-3 mainly include seafood like mackerel, cod liver, krill oil, oysters, salmon and sardines. One honorable mention, a delicious fatty fish loaded with omega-3s is salmon. For one serving or 3.5 ounces of salmon, there is 2,150 milligrams of EPA and DHA. If you're like me, an avocado a day keeps the doctor away kinda guy, good news, one whole avocado packs around 223 milligrams of omega-3s with a good punch of fiber and 500 milligrams of potassium. One of the things about omega-3s is they're very versatile. They can potentially help improve many different aspects of our health, especially as it relates to brain performance and cognition to like heart health and inflammation, as we've said before. It is one of these supplements, just like B-Complex, which has a ton of effects and is so versatile that a lot of people can profit from taking it. Especially if you're deficient in it, or in other words, if you have no seafood, walnuts, avocados and this type of stuff in your diet. Or olive oil. The first potential benefit, very well known one, is improving heart health. Now, this came long ago when they found there is a reduced cardiovascular disease risk in people from the Greenland population, the Eskimos, who tend to eat a lot of seafood, fish, krill oil, this type of stuff, which are very rich in omega-3s. And this struck scientists and led them on a path to digging a bit deeper on the effects of omega-3s on cardiovascular disease risk and it shows inverse correlation, meaning higher intake of omega-3s, lower cardiovascular disease risk, of course, up to some point. So partially the reason behind why they're beneficial is they have cardioprotective properties as they reduce oxidative damage, oxidative stress, and they act anti-inflammatory, which is good for the blood vessels as less inflammation or less chronic inflammation means healthier cardiovascular system. Another thing is they may improve the blood flow as they cause vasodilatation, which is increasing of the diameter of your blood vessels, improving circulation overall. They may as well improve lipid profile, which means your cholesterol is going to get better by increasing HDL levels, the good cholesterol, and reducing LDL levels, the bad cholesterol, alongside with reducing triglyceride levels. A meta-analysis shows that taking 3.25 grams of EPA or NDHA significantly reduced triglyceride levels and increased HDL or the good cholesterol in people with hyperlipidemia. Another potent benefit of omega-3 is improving brain health and supporting cognitive function. One of the primary reasons most people increase their intake in omega-3 is to elevate their memory or preserve memory. So here's the thing, your brain is made up of fat, it's literally the fattiest organ made up of 60% plus fats, and omega-3s can be a big chunk of that. Healthy fats are important as they help synthesize certain neurotransmitters and balance out different hormones that help your brain function, literally anything from like thinking, reading, memorizing, 
speaking, moving is supported by fats. Fats need to be there to provide not just the fuel, but the structural integrity of your brain. Two of the most important omega-3s are DHA and EPA, and low levels of DHA have been associated to things like ADHD and depression, while lower levels of EPA have been associated to suboptimal neural development, aka brain shrinkage and potentially cognitive impairment. Omega-3s are very potent neuroprotectors as they exert certain effects like reducing inflammation in the brain, improving circulation in the brain, and in a sense this acts as an anti-aging for your brain, keeping it plastic and adaptable. In older adults, research shows improved memory and brain function due to omega-3 supplementation, improvements in cognitive performance, vascularization and executive function as well as memory were some of these. Third important benefit is reducing inflammation. See, inflammation is a very natural response to most of the things that we do. Like we can talk digestion, we can go to exercise, we can think, inflammation and oxidative stress will show up. The thing is, when we do good things like exercise or fasting, we help our body fight inflammation better so it's not chronically elevated. When we seat any too much, usually we run into metabolic deficits and chronic inflammation increases, which is the first way most modern day diseases develop. Now, one of the ways to keep inflammation at bay is to increase the intake of antioxidants and omega-3 seem to be very potent in this. They help keep inflammation at bay and are associated to numerous anti-aging benefits. Omega-3s increase the production of different metabolites which are known to decrease inflammation. This is why eating foods rich in omega-3s like avocados, nuts, especially walnuts, olive oil, cod liver oil, salmon is great and considered anti-inflammatory. Fish oil has been shown to reduce important inflammation markers like CRP or C-reactive proteins and interleukin-6. So what's the best way to increase your intake of omega-3s and do you actually need to? Okay. This depends on your diet mainly. So if you have a high intake in healthy fats, you're very likely to have sufficient omega-3 levels, especially we're talking about increasing the ratio of omega-3s versus omega-6s in the diet. So if you eat seafood, if you eat cod liver oil, if you enjoy a salmon, mackerel, sardines, there's a good chance you have enough. If you don't, but also you enjoy your avocados and nuts, especially walnuts, olive oil, same, you probably have enough. But if you don't, there is a good chance you're deficient in it and having a little bit of extra can provide that anti-inflammatory effect while supporting your heart health and brain health. One of the best things when you're looking for a supplement is to check out the EPA and DHA since most of the benefits are derived from this two omega-3 fatty acids. This is what mine looks like, focus, camera, focus. I can show you the capsule. It looks something like this. It's pretty, pretty large, but that's your highly concentrated EPA and DHA supplement. Big. If you're looking for a natural way to boost your brain health, energy levels, and well being, omega 3s may deserve a spot in your stack. These essential fatty acids play a vital role in maintaining a healthy brain and supporting cognitive function. But with our modern diets often lacking in these nutrients, supplementing with omega-3 can be a smart choice. All the electronics in our modern tech world combined with nutrient deficiency in our diet can exert high oxidative stress on the brain. To combat this, an increased intake in antioxidants can be quite beneficial. If you made it this far, congratulations! You can also check out this blog we've written on vitalsend.com, which goes through all the benefits really in detail and showcases the data the scientific data behind why omega-3s are beneficial. So just a quick recap, most of the omega-3s benefits are focused on improving heart health, lowering blood pressure, potentially anti-inflammatory effects, and improving brain health and cognitive function. The conclusion, eat more avocados, walnuts, olive oil, and seafood. That's all I have for you today. See you in the next one. Bye.